Okay, cool. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Tim Waters. We do every, every Tuesday and Thursday. And don't forget, you can reach Tim every trading day at Ord, O R D hyphen oracle.com. That's Ord hyphen oracle.com. Tim Ord, what's going on, brother? Well, we're looking at some charts here. We're looking at um, some charts. Well, first off, congratulations. I mean, you really hit this thing beyond belief. First, you hit the gold. And then, of course, you know, bottom line, you hit the S&P. And this is, this is one hell of a rally, Tim. <laughs> yeah, I tell you what, I don't think it's over. I know. Um, I Listen, as we go through these, I've been, I've, I, I know. I was saying to Jake up upstairs, you know, and this is the... Well, would you have also, folks, this is like the perfect time scenario for this to happen. But there, yeah, let, let's start it off. Um, the first one we're looking at, uh, I have the first yeah, shot sure. up here, Tim. All right, so it's chart number one, uh, which is the S&P. This is just, uh, I've used it over the years. It worked fine. And anyhow, the second window up from the bottom yep. is the uh, 10 day trend. Yes. And usually, uh, you know, it's, it kind of varies. It's, you know, this is exactly 1.2. You know, as long as in the vicinity, especially out this strong rally, we didn't actually get panic at the last low. But as the market rallied, uh, it's all, uh, anyhow, get back to that chart when that uh, 10 day trend is around 1.2 or higher. That's all the shaded pink areas I okay. did on the chart. I see it, yep. And, and so last October, we, we got a bullish signal because you got a trend of one around 1.2, marked a short-term low. And we came down and uh, into the late October, actually October 27th was uh, the low. And there's really not a lot of panic in there. But as the market rallied, what's unusual, the trend actually got higher. Okay. And so, um, so anyhow, uh, it looks good. And when you get a trend of 1.2 or higher, normally you get panic in the market. You got more, uh, in general, you got more volume in the stocks that are going down. And you think that would be bullish or bearish, but it's actually bullish. Uh, so, uh, anyhow, we got enough panic probably to keep this uh, rally going. Today's not an update. Uh, we're off about a quarter percent, give or take. But, uh, you know, we got a 10, a 10 day trend. You know, tonight's probably going to be a little higher. As I put this date on, which is not last night's close of 1.09, still leans bullish. So, uh, in effect, that's, you know, leans bullish. I don't see any over optimism, you know, where a top can occur. No, I know, because right uh, now so, you're, we're actually running a 1.19 right now, right? As we're speaking, which is so, it's like, yeah. okay. <laughs> right. It's kind of building energy. That's why I'm saying it's probably going to yeah. be higher tonight yeah. on the 10 day trend. The market kind of is building energy here, probably even move higher during uh, Thanksgiving week. Uh, so let's look to chart two. Tim, you do, know, do you uh, remember, that, I, I don't get you, get you off course here, but do you remember, and I, I, you, you probably do, this was in, um, it was either 98, or maybe it was 96, I don't know, I, I, between 96 and 98. What happened, folks, is this. It was Thanksgiving week, okay, and let's say we were prior to the week, and, and the market had been running like this, right? Well, what happened is that on the day after Thanksgiving, okay, there was only, you know, half a day. And that day was one of the biggest days I ever saw in the market. But it didn't matter what you bought, everything went up. Everything. I mean, it was like, we were, we were all like in awe. I mean, we were all long. And, you know, yeah, I pulled back that following Monday, but I will never forget that day. And I'm, I'm thinking... This morning when, you know, just going over your charts and I'm going over the newsletter, I'm saying, you know what, man, this market is set up that it'll be a liquid Friday. You know, if NVIDIA comes out with some decent numbers tonight, I mean, they could run this thing on Friday that people will get to get their mind blown, man. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Because it's like, okay, you're only, you're only open, you know, from 930 to 1. Do you know what I mean? So. Right. It, yeah, it, I could it do it? I, I don't know. I, I, I see there's. There's evidence uh, that could happen. Yeah. And plus, nobody's believing in this rally. I mean, right. I'm, I'm still getting comments. I'm thinking, you know, when are you going to sell? I'm thinking, right. I don't know. When, you know <laughs> I know. I know. You know, I know. I, I don't see a big problem. That's not saying that. Um, so you know, that, usually that, you get some verges in the VIX or the TLT to uh, the SPX ratio, or you get too many uptick readings on the close, or you get a real low trend reading. Yes. You get a lot of kind of 
signs that yeah, you're getting kind of exhaustion here, and none of that's happening here. Right. At least not not so far. It's going to happen over the next couple of days, sure. maybe. But right. I don't think the market's going to do it. I think it's going to keep doing right. what it has been doing for the. Uh, uh, you know, even though, you know, everybody's talking about the gaps, got gaps here, gaps there, but um, there's plenty of time know, for those to get filled later, right? Exactly. So I yeah, get the, they, I they get may the get filled I, later. You know, maybe monthly, or maybe in January. I don't know. No, I'm with you. Uh, so I'm, so I'm not going to worry about it. But if you flip to page two, I have it. Uh, the VIX yeah, the, slash VIX, yeah, the, the spy vest VIX. And that's yep. it's a really good sign. It, it, it's a, you know, second one down from the top is actually the SPX VIX ratio. Right. The only reason I do that is because it kind of mirrors the direction of the S&Ps. Yes. If you do the VIX, normally if the VIX is up, the S&Ps are down. If the VIX is down, use the S&Ps is up. So I did the SPX VIX ratio to kind of see where it's going on. And right now, we're, uh, the SPs are kind of testing the, uh, looks like about the September highs here. And the VIX is also t uh, testing the September, September highs. Yes. And if you look at the top window, VIX September is actually lows, making right. a lower low. Right. Yeah, uh, exactly. Right. So, you know, usually the VIX starts going up. Uh, for several days before the the actual top happens in the S and P's, and so far none of that's happening here. So uh, right, you know, it's it's a it's a good OM. You know, I, I actually outlined that time we were on the radio back in April May, and we were talking about uh, that market going sideways, and a lot of people are bearish. We well, you know, if, if you look at the VIX at that time. You know, I got it outlined there. Yes. Uh, we were making higher highs uh, where the SPs were basically going sideways. And a lot of times this ratio leads leads the direction of the S&Ps. So, yes. Um, it looks it looks pretty, pretty good cool. here so far. Yeah, just wait just wait there one second. Tim and I are going to be coming right back after a short break. Folks, we have the Dow Industrials right now down 80, NASDAQ off 93. S&Ps are off 13. Tim and I will be coming right back, folks. Stay right there. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 67. Nasdaq off 91. S&P's off 13. We're talking about our man, Mr. Tim Ord, and we are talking markets here. Okay, Tim, so uh, should I go to number three now? Yeah, go to number three. Uh, okay. This kind of is a little bit, kind of a, gives you a pretty good view of short term. And uh, usually, uh, anyhow, the, the bottom window is the daily SPY is the next window up. Is the uh, daily uh, tilt to VIX or to BVIX ratio? Yes, and I, I I did the VIX, but the BVIX seems to work better. So, but anyhow, uh, the 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 tan or the pink shaded areas are uh, are showing divergence. Like uh, January of 2023, as the market uh, uh, went up, I see that the ratio went. Yeah, the ratio went down, and in uh, of July, August of uh, this year. Uh, that's actually, you know, I don't know if you remember or not, I got out right at that high. Or I do. Close to it. I do. Yes, and, I do. And uh, this one, this this ratio is one of the reasons why. Uh, that ratio was, was, you know, markets going higher high, and that ratio started to go down. And so, Tim, uh, this is something that we will be watching if the you know uh, at some point the market's going to you know run out of energy, but this is something that we would be watching in the future also to to see to say okay are we getting there or high right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This thing will start to diverge, and you'll see other signs. You know, a lot of times the trend gets way low yep. for a period of time, but you don't. To me, I don't use one indicator. I use you know if yes. I get three or four. Or preferably at least two, if not three or four, all line up. Your odds of success really increase a lot. Right. So I right. Don't, I don't do because all indicators don't work all the time. Exactly. Uh, exactly. And, and so you, you kind of multiple. You know, you, you add layers to them. Once you get a few layers, uh, agreeing that a market turn is probably coming, and then uh, you got to you got to bail. I guess you might say. But yeah. Right. Certainly, uh, we're over here in the blue part right now, the light blue part. Okay. And if you notice that uh, the SPs is you know kept rocketing up, and so far that ratio is still making higher highs. Uh, so um, how long, how high can we go? I don't know. Uh, That's you know, so cool. So let's just. I want to go over this chart. just. I want to go over this just for a second. So I see what you're saying. Okay. Right. We go back to the July. See what you're saying. This was already going down. Markets are still making highs. Is there a divergence there? 
this particular case, folks, if you're watching Tiger TV, you're going to see that, you know, bottom line, is this, this is making higher highs, period. Cool, man. Okay, I get it. I get yeah. it. Nice. Yeah, it's, it's uh, and also I use uh, this ratio, you know, once something moves too fast, it kind of like goes parabolic. Yes, and normally it goes parabolic. That's usually a bad sign. Okay, and I I, I mark I mark the acceleration, which is the top two windows. The top windows, the ROC. Oh, which I is see. A, okay, a rate of change on a ten period, and right below that is the RSI. It's just kind of a uh, acceleration type indicators, uh, and right. both of them are ten day, which is two weeks. And so, if you get them both line up, which is the red lines, you're you're kind of going to exhaustion to the downside. Yeah. And the blue line is kind of exhaustion to the upside. Which you can and see, you that's notice. exactly what happened when we came off that low. Unreal. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and so you kind of watch it. Is that going to be a top? Because right. I've seen the same thing. You know, that ratio hit. Both ratios hit. Uh, you know, uh, overbought one above yes. twenty, other above thirty. Right, and so I was long, and so I kind of watched that ratio, and um, and pretty cool man. because of the acceleration. So that was kind of worrisome sign. I held that position, then all of a sudden we started breaking higher highs on that TLT VIX VVIX ratio, and think, okay, I'm fine. Yep, uh, I see. Because the ratio trumps the acceleration. I I'll see. That way. Okay, so let's so, go to number uh, four. There we go. Chat four. four. Okay, four. All right. Let me get. Is that good? Here. Do you want to do chat four? Yeah, chart four is good. Good. Okay. Actually, can we go to? Can we do five and come back? To Absolutely. Four? Yeah, we. I get five right now. Beautiful. Oh, oh, this is the beauty, folks. Yeah, let's do this one. <laughs> yeah. So okay, so we're looking. You know, we're just off that uh, ratio uh, of the. TLT VVX ratio, you know, it's not showing any divergence. Well, what may happen, if, you know, if you do Weisskopf, remember Weisskopf? Oh, yeah. You know, yeah. You, to get through a neckline, you have to have a sign of strength, right? Right. Which is big volume and big price movement. Yes. Well, this whole pattern that's been going on here on the SPX going back to late 2021 could be a head and shoulders bottom. I know. And that neckline is right around that 4,600 area on the SPX. Amazing. Well, to get through that neckline, you have to have a sign of strength. Yep. And so what I'm saying is the market actually may get stronger here going forward because to get through that line, you have to have a sign of strength. Right. So, so well, see, there it may and, be acceleration, actually. No, uh, and, and listen, term. it would make sense, you know, what you had – you know, one of the guys that, you know, the, the guy that wrote the big shot, Tim, okay, um, you know, in 2007, right, Michael Lewis, right, the bottom line is that he just closed, he's winding down his hedge fund, it's a long shot fund, and he's winding it down, it's going to be closed by January because he can't make any money. So, that happens, I mean, at highs, too, do you know what I'm saying? So, right. it, when that happens, folks, now, just to understand what happens, they got to close positions, man. So yeah, his hedge fund has like a half a trillion, half a billion, half a billion. Yeah, 500 million or something like that. Uh, bottom line is that you can see what, what could happen as to how you can get a sign of strength. I, I can see how it could happen. You know, you're holding off, you're holding off, you're praying that the market will go down. And then all of a sudden it's like, okay, it's not going down. And, and you know, it's going to go down after everyone closes their shots, of course. Okay, but... Pretty cool, right. man. So let the, this yeah. is this is quite a head and shoulders, Tim. This is pretty amazing. Yeah. Man. Well, if you look, you know, if you take it, go back to 2020, low, you know, the March of the, the COVID crash back in 2020. Yes. If you do the Fibonacci relationship, we only trace 50 percent of that, you know, that that uh, advance. Yes. So uh, so if we went down to 61.8 percent, you know, maybe we don't break the neckline. But 50 percent, you know, the odds suggest that we're probably going to. See a science drink maybe through that neckline. This head and shoulders pattern has uh, measured target to around 5,700, uh, 5,700, which is about 26 percent higher than where it is at, uh, once you break the 4,600. Yeah, that's, so that's 1,100 that points higher. That's 1,100 points higher than we are right now, folks. Okay. Wow. Yeah, the gobs and gobs of points higher. So, <laughs> have, have, have we confirmed this pattern yet? No. No. You need a, I, uh, to confirm a head shoulder bottom, you need a sign of strength through the neckline. Well, and so we're not to the neckline yet. Right. It looks promising. It does. Actually, no, I listen. That's, uh, 
Right. So step uh, by step. We take the, bo- the bottom window, too, the uh, SPX VIX ratio. Okay. So this is a monthly chart. And right now, the, the SPX VIX ratios is basically uh, uh, testing the high of uh, the previous high there. It looks like about July. I see that. And the S uh, and the SPX hasn't gotten back to the July yet, and a lot of times the ratio, as I always said before, leads the S and P's. Wow! So that gives you quite a bit of evidence that we may actually go up and test the July high. Yep. So, uh, uh, so hey, I don't d- know. But just I, I just see stay, the music stay there, folks. Stay there, Tim. We got one more segment. We're gonna, you know, finish this chart up and go to the next one. We have the Dow Industrials right now. See, this thing won't want to stay down. Dow's off 50, Nasdaq off 82, S and P's are off 10. Tim and, I, Tim and I come right back, folks. Welcome back, folks. Talking about I'm Mr. Tim Ord. No fear, folks. You get hold of Tim every trading day at Ord-Oracle.com. Okay, Tim. So, uh, would you like me to go to the last chart or which chart? Uh, you go to chart four real quick. Okay, I got it. Good. Uh, yeah, this is uh, the uh, summation index. And it looks at the bigger picture. The chart goes back to 2007. Yes. And shows the times when the summation index gets below 700. And that's kind of a capitulation of the market. Okay. And uh, so you need a capitulation. Then you need a sign of strength to get a bottom going in the market. Yes. And so that's how the market bottoms. So if you get capitulation and you don't get a sign of strength, you're going to get more capitulation. Okay. And that's what happened in uh, 2008. You got a bunch of capitulation, kept going down, and finally you got a sign of strength, and that marked the bottom. But we did have uh, uh, capitulation, a sign of strength uh, in the uh, S&Ps. You know, at the last low, which was what? Yes. October 2022, whatever. Well, well we may be getting another one because we had a capitulation on October 27th, 2023. The uh, summation index hit like a minus 817 or something. I don't remember exactly what the number was. But we did have a reading below minus 700, is 800, minus 800 and stuff. So within two months, so October 27th would be December 27th. Yes. If we get a within two months, get to plus 1,000, that would be December 27th. Uh, then you got another capitulation and a uh, sign of strength. You get two of them. And normally, you know, if you look at this chart, you only get one. And I don't know, I'm not sure what two means, but it can't be bad. Right. So. Now, where, where, where are we as to the plus 1,000, Tim? Are we getting close to it? Right. Well, uh, when I did this chart today, was well, actually this is yesterday's. It'd be a minus one hundred. So that's where we are right now. And okay. uh, so we got quite a time to go yet. You know, okay. So, okay. What month? Over month. So. Okay. Well, listen, man. You yeah. have a, a great Thanksgiving, a safe Thanksgiving. I won't speak to you next week because we're closed Thursday and Friday, Tim. Okay. Right. Okay, man. We'll talk to you next week. Next Absolutely. Monday. Have a great one, folks. Have a safe one, and come join Tommy tomorrow morning.